Yo, what's going on guys? How are we all doing today? Welcome to the stream. Today we're going to be doing a little bit of building the actual crate mock. I'm going to get a few lights set up here in just a second. Um, but anyways guys, I do have the laptop in front of me so I can read the stream as usual guys. And uh, yeah, so we're just going to have a pretty cool time. The stream's not going to last as long um, as tomorrow's stream. It's probably going to be about an hour, hour and a half or something like that. Um, just because I want to save some progress for tomorrow. Tomorrow I'm going to be streaming at 3.30pm as well. So I do want to save a little bit for that, uh, but guys, like I said before, probably about an hour, hour and a half stream um, tonight. Just getting some progress done for the crate mock. I want to welcome you all to the stream. We're going to really quickly just read off the names of everyone here. And we're going to get started here. So on the top, we got BeatTube, who is the first person here. NA Customs. Martha, what's up, what's up? We got Boba Fett. We got Kylo Bricks. We got the whole fam here. What's up, everybody? How y'all doing? Let me know how everyone's day is going, guys, because honestly, I just had a phenomenal day. I pretty much aced an exam. And then I realized I have a three-day weekend, so we're getting started here. I'm just going to put a light on really quickly before we get started. Because I want you guys to see everything. And we're going to get started with the actual mock. Justice, what's up? Hey, you made it. You made it. There we go. Uh, really quickly, guys, before we get started, I want to let you know that if you want to be a moderator, pretty much the only thing I can recommend you guys do is to actually just stay active on the live streams. I'm going to be looking for some moderators, especially for more streams to come, because I really want to make streaming um, a like a main focal point on my channel. So just stay active, I guess you could say, throughout every stream, and I'll notice your name, and I'll just make you a mod, I guess. Um, so without out of the way, guys, I'm going to tell you what we're going to be doing today. Pretty much, I'm going to finish detailing the rest of this trench, hopefully add the height a little bit, and then hopefully add some support bricks um around like the area to finish off the plates and everything like that like i said before i do have my uh macbook here so i can read all the comments in the chat and stay up to date with you guys and yeah it's kind of it so we're just going to kind of jump right on in here like i said before probably not going to be too long of a stream um but it's going to be probably about an hour hour and a half and then tomorrow i'm going to be probably streaming for about two and a half to three hours because i really want to bang out um some progress here to get cut off with the chat what's up what's up any customs your day was good Color bricks, great, thanks. Just gonna dump all these pieces out, actually. So if you guys haven't seen the midweek crate update yet, definitely go check that out because that has the detailing that I'm probably gonna be doing here tonight. Lego Star Wars Pro, good doing uh, music homework. Guys, anyone know a scene from Star Wars where the Force theme is playing? I just found two and I, I need three. Um, I'm not exactly sure. Well, you, I'm sure you could Google it. Honestly, that's probably like one of the best ways. So I was streaming uh, last night and hopefully the stream is much better tonight because I did fix a few things um, with it because it was getting laggy at some points. 
but hopefully that is uh, pretty much fixed at this point. If you guys want, by the end of the stream, I can show you um, what I showed off in my midweek um, crate video, just to show you the uh, details. Xavier Soren asks, are you going to build a plus size ATM6? Um, I most likely will. It's not going to be my design, though. It's actually going to be um, a person, a buddy of mine, or not a buddy, but like I've been talking to him recently about um, him building an ATM6, and it's like a UCS version. It's UCS scale, everything like that. It's pretty much like the ATAT, but from uh, for like an ATM6, essentially. So he said he's going to be done with that, hopefully by April, and I'm going to, going to be able to uh, use his design for what I'm using. How do you sort your pieces? Um, I don't really, I mean, I order my pieces and they come in packages, so they're already kind of sorted, if you kind of understand what I'm saying. Um, but anyways, I really what I do is I usually just separate it by color, and then I separate it by brick and plate, and then that's kind of it. How much progress, uh, as he says, lag it buffers? Oh no. I think, I think we're okay though. We should be all right. Martha asks, how much progress are you going to do? Um, tonight, probably not the most I could possibly do because I do have some stuff to do later tonight. But tomorrow is where a majority of the progress is going to be. Um, we're going to be streaming for like two hours or so tomorrow. But we're going to hopefully finish um, the, de the details for this trench um, so I can show it by the uh, weekly update. Are you using Flame Troopers or Snow Troopers? I'm using both. In Battlefront 2, the main assault class is a um, Snow Trooper. And then the Flame Trooper is another um, also possible unit, I guess you could say. So I'm going to be using both. Boba Fett Bricks, I have no idea what you're saying, my man. I don't I don't read that language. Brick Hall Productions, what's going on? Welcome to the stream. Thrawn Lug is taking over. Alright, I see you guys working here. Trying to get as much work as I've done. Can, can finish tonight with this mock. Welcome to the Thrawn Luck Chat. Is that my first official sponsor, boys? If so, then I'm okay with that. So what I have to do is I have to raise this by three height because they have to the minifigures have to have a enough of a space where they can peer over and see the battle. So certain points I have to make it three high. It kind of sucks because I don't have enough bricks for that, but it's alright. Guys, as usual, let me know if the chat's too loud or uh, not the chat, the music or anything like that. So I should be able to fix that really quick. But hopefully there should be no problems tonight. I think I fixed everything. Lego God, what's up? Jason Wong asks, how long will the stream go for? Um, probably about an hour, hour and a half tonight. Probably till about 9 p.m. Uh, my time, so it's a little bit under two hours actually. Oh, I was not gonna put that there actually. How many? Yeah, how many is everybody in Thrawn Lug? I'm very interested because if it's a Thrawn Lug chat, then uh, I might be getting overthrown right here. Oh, Bicker, show your sponsor. All right, I'm going to put that on my uh, about section of the channel. Official sponsor of Thrawn Lug. That sounds pretty cool, though. Not going to lie. How, how many people in here are are actually in the Thrawn Lug? That's, uh, I'm really interested to see. Kyler Briss asks, how much money do you spend on filler brick? So far, I've spent probably... Well, I had a lot of filler brick from Scarif, so that saved me a lot of money. But in terms of like... Um, new pieces, I've probably spent about 120 so far, which really isn't terrible considering how much progress I've done right now. So hopefully I'm going to buy another one of those creative boxes and um, hopefully that's going to fix all my problems and I don't have to buy anymore. Just Ice, I'm the only mod. Oh, good to see you. Alright, see you man. I know it's a little late for you, but don't worry, tomorrow's stream is going to be a lot earlier, so hopefully I'll see you there for a longer time. <laughs> Burn the salt down so it turns black. It's not a bad idea. Well, I have to start doing is I have to start prototyping um, the actual skim, um, what is it called, ski speeder, because I'm gonna be putting that crashed. Um, so it's gonna take me a little while to probably fool around with that a little bit. We will not give you money. How long will this mock take you? Um, I've been building it. What do we get on a week? I think this week's gonna be week seven, and I think I plan on finishing in about a little under two months right now, because I'm also trying to get a job at Lego right now, so I can um, afford pretty much more parts. So it's, it's obviously tentative to change, but right now it looks like probably a little under two months until I finish the mock. Yeah, Just Ice, I'm glad you were able to come here too, man. I'll see you tomorrow. 
Hello Bricks, there was a real good day on creator boxes at Walmart, like six bucks. Yeah, I did not get that. For some reason, I guess, I think it was out of stock, like literally. So I have no idea if I'm going to be able to get that. Probably not. I, I have the email notification to let me know if it's back in stock, but I don't think I'm going to be getting that just because it's extremely popular. Welcome to our chat. <laughs> we got Throne Lug taking over my chat, guys. I got a photo with Seal Cloud City. Didn't get it. My buddy have on. What? I got a photo with Seal. Oh, you got a photo? That's pretty cool. I've always wanted a sealed. Oh, I, I want to collect all the sealed old sets. I don't know. It's just something I, found, I find really interesting. You know what I mean? I was able to stream today. I just got back at the store. <laughs> what store do you, did you work there? Or you just like went there to buy some stuff? I'm going to replace these, this piece really quick. I got my phone privileges back. Uh-oh, what happened? Did you get in trouble, Just Dice? Don't be getting in trouble now. Doing good, Violet Bricks is doing good. Jay the Doctor, what's up? Brick was meet our demands. Dude, I'm trying, man. I'm trying. I'm trying to build this as fast as I possibly can for all you. It takes time. It takes some time. I can't rush the process, you know what I'm saying? My hands are too big for this one little spot here. It's kind of embarrassing. <laughs> What, what are, yeah, what are the demands? If I were, if I were to be sponsored, what are the demands? Strong Arf Productions, we're looking forward to watching your stream. That's awesome, man. Thank you. Thank you for tuning in, too. Alright, I think that's three high, right? Yeah, it looks three high. Hey, man, how old are you? Nico Bay, what's up? I am 18. Alright, we gotta replace this piece with a one by one. I wish you could. I wish I could work at Lego Store, but I'm only 16. Yeah, I'm still in the interview process. I haven't heard back from them, which is kind of a little worrying to me. But uh, hopefully, to, I'm gonna hopefully get an email from them soon. But I'm really kind of banking on getting that job for everything like that. You want a year's supply of Captain Phasma dark chocolate, or we blow up Aldron, dude. Aldron's already gone. Can't use that anymore. So I'm going to take off these pieces behind here because I want to make sure I have enough to finish the rest of the trench facing the battle. So I'm going to take that off really quick. Yellow Journals, what's up? Saw you yesterday's stream. Welcome back. Just I still hanging in face reveal? Yeah, uh, I don't know. When the time comes, you guys will see a face reveal. Only when the time is right. That's what I'll tell you. Anyone, I, know, I ask this every stream, but anyone making some cool mocks that I should be uh, looking forward to on YouTube or something like that? Yeah, he'll blow up Cloud City. There we go. You'll blow up Crate? Dude, pretty sure Crate's population is zero. Unless you count the foxes, I guess, so. That's still kind of threatening. You'll blow up the galaxy, dude? What the heck? I don't even think that's possible. I don't, think, I don't even think that's physically possible. Push all these plates down and they kind of pop up. It's a good angle. I think it's a good angle for you guys. Nah, I blow up Takadana. Oh wait, too late. We destroyed half of it. Kylo Bricks, you're ruthless, man. There's no off button for you. If you become a Lego designer and make Phase Two clone pack, I would do. I would, dude. I want a 501st Trooper clone pack. Is that just me? Like, I feel like that is a long overdue set. Or, actually, I don't even know if I've done that before. But just like a battle pack of four 501st Troopers would be super awesome, and I'd buy so many of those. There's a lot more people than yesterday's stream. Yeah, yesterday, well, we had problems yesterday with the stream, with all the lag. And plus, I think a majority of the followers want LEGO live streams and not just Battlefront live streams. Actually, while I have a majority of people here, I have a question for you. Would you be interested in seeing some LEGO Star Wars as a video game gameplay? I feel like that'd be really fun for a channel like mine. I feel like you guys would enjoy it too. So let me know about that because that'd be awesome. Bricks to you. What's up? What's up? Nico Bay. So I'm from Germany and I'm build oh, oh, oh. building Octo on a 3x4 great base plate. And I don't know if I should upload it to YouTube. You should always upload your creation to YouTube. There is no harm in doing that. No harm in exposing some of your creations. All that stuff. Connor Murray, welcome back to the chat, my friend. When are you going to show your face? I told you, when the time is right, you will see a face reveal. That's all I'm going to say. Maybe soon. Depends. 
If we hit 2,000 subscribers before my one-year anniversary, I will do a face reveal. My one-year anniversary is... Uh, what is it? I think it's February 27th, so... Get to work on that if you want to see a face reveal. Alright, we're gonna finish plating the bottom floor off right now. I gotta find some pieces. I'm pretty sure I'm missing some pieces. Give me one second, guys. Uh, there's a bag right there. Another bag. Uh, let's see. Nope. I always lose half my pieces. No, this is not good. Oh well, we'll just continue without it. You should play LEGO Star Wars The Clone Wars 3. I would play every LEGO Star Wars game and make it a series on the channel. Because I feel like that'd be super fun to do. Throw on Lux Monsters your trench. <laughs> I'll put your guys' name in the uh, description of the crate mock when it's released. Legend of Sacred Text says that looks like Bosk. <laughs> Alright, so we got to try and work in some cool details right now. I'm going to finish the floor actually right now while I have most of my pieces here. At least I thought I had my pieces here. I'm a little bit unorganized right now. Why is there some green in the tunnel? Uh, some green in... Oh, like here? Where is it? Somewhere over here, right? That's just there. Just I think it just fell there. In all honesty. Alright, I got to find some of my pieces here, fellas. Let's see. I think this pick brick cup has some. Would you like to see a sequel trilogy Lego game? Yes, 100%. Here, here are all the pieces. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. How do you get the music during the stream? Um, I stream using a software called um, OBS, and basically, they you can put in like you can put in music, you can put in pictures, videos, all that stuff. That's how I do my intro to every live stream. It's really really cool. Uh, what is a little section off to the side of the trench? This part right here, guys, is, um, if you can kind of imagine, like, you're a viewer spectating this mock, and you can just kind of, this is all going to be covered, by the way, on the top. But you can, like, look into the underground tunnel, like, in here, there's going to be some resistance running away. Um, so that's kind of the idea with that. I'm still kind of fooling around with that, but. Give all 10 of us a shout out, and all 10 of us will give you a shout out. I wish I could know who the people are in the chat. I can only, only I can only know who messages, so. That might be a hard part to do. This chat belongs to Throne Lug. <laughs> basically a side window. Yeah, basically a side window to show the tunnel. 75 inches of what? I'm confused. Bricks to you and feeling better still coughing. Oh, were you the one who had the flu? Or you were sick with something. I remember that. I'm glad you're feeling better, buddy. That stuff sucks. So I think I'm only gonna border up this side because, like, this 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 way is gonna be the the uh. Oh wait, is it backwards? Oh my god, I think I'm doing it backwards. Yeah, it's this way. I had to switch all these to that side. I think. I'm confused now, guys. Hold on. I have to check. Yeah, we gotta switch it up because the first order is coming from this direction. So we gotta switch all these pieces. Crap. That's alright. We got some time. Brick was give me a shout out. Alright, Bay Tube, you got one. Oh, yeah, the TV is 75 inches. It's gigantic, bro. It's crazy. For those of you who didn't know, I'm a personal friend of Connor Murray. So if we're having a conversation that doesn't make sense or pretend to Lego, that's probably why. Yeah, you were the one with the flu. All right. I'm glad you're feeling better, though, man. The, flu's, the flu sucks. Apparently, it's, like, a really bad year, too. Like, Garrett from uh, Rich Boy J. He's, he's got the flu, too. I make quality mocks. J Doctor. There we go. Are you bringing the mocks to Brick Fair? I'm going to be bringing this one to Brick Fair in Edison, New Jersey, because that is the closest. Um, I'm thinking about bringing it to another Brick Fair in Jersey. I'm not sure yet. But as of right now, that's the only one that I'm going to. But that can obviously all change. It all depends on how fin how quickly I finish this too. Boba, don't you be advertising your stream, friend. My stream, don't be doing that, fam. JPA Productions, what's up, what's up? Thanks for tuning in for the stream. 
part's kind of annoying because I did this already and I don't want to have to do it again. I'll open a window really quick. Bata tube. Bat? There we go. I saw the I because it's far away, so I can't actually see every single letter in your name. So I guess I just assumed it was beta tube or something. Bait tube. Bats a tube. I'll get it right. There we go. Cool guys like fish. What's up? I saw you in yesterday's stream. Welcome back. Can't believe I messed this up. We're going to switch this up really quick. Do you do shout outs? I really don't. I really only do shout outs if I do a uh, mock contest and for the winners, whoever wins that. But since we're just chilling right now, whenever I feel like it, I just give a little bit of a nod to somebody, I guess. It would be cool if you played Lego Star Wars to complete Saga. Yeah, that's what I was thinking of. That's one of my favorites. So, I'm, I, I don't know. I think live streams of that, maybe like once or twice a week, would be pretty cool. Just to kind of, I don't know, have fun, relax, you know. How big will your crate mock be and how many base plates? Um, It is three It is three by four, so 12 total of the large gray base plates. Oops. So, it's it's, it's a sizable mock. I, it's, it's pretty big. I underestimated it too because I'm... I don't I really ran I ran out of pieces like twice already so it's not going too well but we're, we're powering through just dice welcome back we got a mod back right now I'm building an a-wing mock an x-wing mock and I'm modifying my ATST and all goes the album for that sounds really cool it's gamer studios what's up how big should create mock be um it's how big you want to make it uh, no honestly um there's no set size I I my best advice um, for somebody who wants to build any mock and who asks like how big it should be is choose one aspect of it and then have the whole mock scaled around it. That's some, that's one of my best advice is for somebody who's, who's building a mock. It's okay to have stuff not to scale. Um, but you you want to limit it. Electric Lego. What's up? Where'd my brick separator go? Oh, Alexa's talking. <laughs> Alexa, off. Gotta put that back. J Doc, J Doc, hey, no spamming, fam. No spamming. What this piece is? Here we go. Went to my 200 special Lego Star Wars Pro card giveaway. Right, I send you 200, really? Pretty impressive. I get notified about your live stream now. Yeah, something's wrong with the notification, the way I have it set up, and it notifies people like either when the stream's done or like 10 minutes after the stream started, so I have no idea what's going on with that, but I'm not spamming, I just talk too much, I guess. But Limit is what I'm saying. Don't like type one word per message. You know what I'm saying, fam? Although I do appreciate you. Dragon Bricks, what's up? Welcome to the stream. For those of you, for those of you who just joined or who have forgot what we're doing, um, pretty much I'm just finishing all the detailing on my trenches, at least this part for tonight. And then tomorrow I'm going to be streaming again and finishing the other part. And then this, this week's crate segment is going to be showing you guys the final pr um, product, I guess, for what I have right here. So that's just in case you guys were wondering. Ryler Bricks gotta go, alright? Thanks for dropping by, man. Hopefully see you in tomorrow's stream as well. You have a building crate live stream, but it's not live? What? Should be live, as far as I know it's live. Brickwoods, what are your thoughts on the Han Solo movie trailer? Um, I gotta say, I'm obviously excited, because I love Star Wars, and I will always love Star Wars, but... Part of me thinks that it's not going to be as good as the other movies we've been getting recently. I just wasn't as overwhelmed or excited that I was for like Rogue One or The Force Awakens or something like that. But I'm going to see it. I'm still very excited. This part's actually coming together pretty quick. Dragon Bricks just can't wait uh, for tomorrow's live uh, stream. Awesome. Hopefully, I'll see you there. 
What is the app you use for live streams? Uh, it's not an, oh, okay, I guess it is an app. It's called OBS, Open Broadcaster System. And you can just install it on your computer and there's a whole bunch of different settings you can use to make it look really cool. That's how I did my intros with the whole like Scarif 2.0 thing. So it's a really, really useful uh, streaming service. And it's free, which is great. Rick was my dude, can I be a mod maybe? Yeah, I'm thinking about mods, don't worry. I'm always constantly thinking about who I can make mods. So don't worry about that too much. But as long as you're here, like I've only been streaming like consistently quote unquote for about a week. So it's gonna take me about maybe two two weeks or so to kind of get a feel for who who is a uh, I, I don't know I don't want to say a loyal uh, viewer but you know what I mean someone who's here someone who can successfully mod and everything like that so that's pretty much what I'm looking for. It's 7:30 for me so you are oh yeah you're my time. I got no more slopes here. There we go. I finally got my profile picked to update. I still don't see it. Yellow journalist. It still comes up with the standard profile. Bricks to you. Watch me Scarif. Can I be a mod? I just answered that question, Jason. Although you actually have been here a while, so you're definitely on my list of uh, potential ones. Don't worry. But like I said before, it's just whoever has been here longer, I guess, whoever's like consistently here. It's 837. Oh, yeah, you live in Hong Kong, right? I remember that. I remember you guys. I appreciate you. So how's everyone's day today? Anything exciting happen in your guys' life? JPA Productions, what do you think of The Last Jedi? I thought it was a fantastic movie, but like all movies, it wasn't uh, without its faults. Whoops. There were some things that I agreed with, some things that I didn't, but overall, I liked it. I really did. I saw it five times. <laughs> so I guess... I liked it that much. I liked it enough to see it five times, I guess. Well, I gotta go. Brickways, uh, all health, wrong luck. All right, bad at you. I'll see you later, man. Thank you for stopping by. Just like skinny dinner. All right, man. I'll see you after dinner. Think of me for a mod. I, I, when I see somebody's name, I, I can like tell if they've been here a few times. So don't worry. Just... Just be here, I guess, is my thing. Planning to mod the ski speeder set? Um, what I... Well, I'm not sure, actually, because I am going to have this crashed. So, I get... Because I'm pretty sure that LEGO made this, actually, to scale for, like, minifig scale. Or a little bit above it. So, I don't know. I, I, I want to make it crash just somewhere behind this trench right here. But I might like take half of it off and then like stick it up like on a diagonal and then build rocks like up, up here up here to make it like hoist it up or something like that. But I'm not sure yet. We're gonna cross that road when it comes to it, you know. I can't think too too far in advance because then I, then I won't be able to focus on what I'm doing now. Will the trenches connect with the other one? There are two man-made trenches, the two smaller trenches, um, which I kind of already have done, and then the uh, this trench is like one long trench. Sometimes I can't make a stream. That's all right. Yeah, it is minifix. Yeah, okay. Are you hungry? No, I I eat. That was funny. First, very first stream I did, I said I was hungry, and then the next ten minutes were just emojis of food. Uh, from what I've seen, the set is a bit wide from the cockpit to the other end. Um, I'm not I'm not sure. I I don't, I don't know, so I can't really answer that question, but. It, it could be. For all, for all I know, it definitely could be. So, Someone who has analyzed The Last Jedi and seen it several times and he says it was good and I personally thought it was good too. Yeah. It was good. There's, there's something wrong with every Star Wars movie. So it's nothing. It's not, not like there's one Star Wars movie that's absolutely perfect. It will, it will never exist. They'll sleep on my boy streaming. There it is. Like a Star Wars pro. My homie right there. See, it's work, it's work to stream, but it's equally work for you guys to view. So you guys are gr out here grinding too. I'm from Germany. So for me, it's 139. Damn. Nico Bay. The real homie right there. Coming in clutch. Don't worry though. Tomorrow I'm going to be streaming um, four hours earlier. So hopefully you guys will be able to, or I'll probably get, be, able, be able to get, excuse me, more views. All right, we're going to finish the flooring now because I've pretty much done with this side. 
I made a last Jedi mock, but did not make a video on it yet. Well, link it to me when you do. I would love, I would love to see it. Why is everybody building crate mini brick? Welcome to the stream. Um, crate is the new thing. Crate is the new scarf. That's 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 really it. It's the most popular thing from one of the newer movies, and people are gonna create it. I love it. It was it was an awesome battle scene. So I'm just gonna gonna do it. You know. Are you planning on going to any conventions? Yeah, I'm gonna be going to. I'm gonna be bringing this mock to Brick Fair Edison, and maybe one more in New Jersey or New York area. But I might um, actually go to Brick Fair Virginia just to spectate because I haven't been there before and it looks really cool and all like the big youtubers there too so hopefully I'll be able to meet a few people and we also get a snow day for school tomorrow I don't know I have Fridays off that's one of the perks of being in college I guess so that's awesome all right I think we're done with that we start flooring now where do these pieces go I'm losing my mind here we go do you have a Lunar New Year holiday? No, just the standard New Year at the end of Je uh, December. We're going to check out my crit mock. Uh, guys, anything you want me to see, um, just link it either in... Either message me, email me, or link it in a past video. And that's how I'll be able to see it. Because unless you're a mod, you can't link uh, anything in the chat. Yeah, crit is totally the new Scarif. Yeah, I'd agree. Crit is... Crit's awesome. I had some one-by-one... -one dark reds i have to find those because that's how i put the mini figures and like solidify them here so i'm gonna look for them really quickly up here so i gotta find those pieces give me a second guys i have whoa i have just boxes of pieces and it gets kind of crazy at some point so I can't find it in here. I have no idea where it's going to be. Alright, I cannot find this. Is it already in here somewhere? Oh, here we go. I got it. I'm like 45 subscribers away from 200. Congrats, man. Hopefully get there soon. Better make me a mod then. Boba Fett Bricks, I've seen you a lot. You're on my radar, definitely. Starting to recognize a lot of people from other streams. Yeah, it's awesome. That, that's one thing that I absolutely love about streaming and, like, the, commun the community on YouTube. Like, I'll go into Jay's streams, and I'll say what's up, and I get, like, two people say, what's up, BrickWiz? And then I know their names. Like, I've seen Just Ice in there a few times, and everyone like that. So that's just, that's awesome for me. Like, be being able to recognize people by name, that's something really cool, and I really do appreciate that. Spam subs to Mini Bricks Productions. Hey, if you want to do that, man, go ahead. I wonder how Episode 9 is going to do as a story. I am really excited for it because there's so much that they have to answer in such a little time. So I'm assuming they're going to leave some parts out, but I'm hoping that they're going to answer the main questions and everything like that. I'm going to build some staircase, like a little step up. Oh, yeah, the pieces. Also, he's a big Star Wars fan, and he knows everything vehicle, like the and stuff. We play. Oh, that's cool. Three steps away from 70. All right, Dragon Bricks. I see you working. I started last month on my channel, and I have 18 subscribers. That's awesome, dude. JPA Productions speaking. And what is that? Is that German? I want to say. I love the way you do the trench. That's awesome. Thank you, man. I really am happy with how this trench is coming out. I think it looks really good. And if, like I said before, if any of you guys haven't seen the stream, uh, not the stream, the midweek scarf update that I put out, um, like Wednesday, go check that out. Or yesterday, I guess. What are those random curved pieces in the side of the trench? Uh, random curved pieces in the side. I don't know what you're talking about. What do you think of the new announced trilogy by Game of Thrones? Um, I'm a huge Game of Thrones fan, so I'm excited for it. And I'm also excited because we might be able to get a little bit of a, of a more risky Star Wars, if that makes sense. Like, not just like, you know, stereotypical, you know, you know what I, you know what I mean? Like, like it's, it's going to be not predictable, and that's something that I'm looking forward to. It's also going to be interesting because, you know, they're Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones is a very different show. So we're going to see how that turns out, but I'm excited overall. 
You're working on the module restaurant mock? Oh, that's awesome. Oh, not the set you're building your own? That's even, that's even more impressive, dude. I'm 23 subs away from 200. Who's that, JPA? Yeah, yeah. Keep it going, man. Put that piece right there. Side view trench. Uh, the random... Cr oh, these pieces? Are these the pieces you're talking about? Like, these little gray pieces right here? Uh, these are, like, just walls. Like, just... I don't know. Just a detail to add in there. It's like a, like a barricade, I guess. So, some, something along those lines. Get some of these. Hey, Brickwoods, can you check out my channel? Uh, yeah, just link it, man. Just link it in, uh, e email me, message me, go on a video and comment it. Because I, I always see that stuff, so. If you ever link or message me something, I always see it. And I always, most of the time, if I have time, I click on it. How old are you? I'm 18. Uh, I remember clicking my recommended seeing your first Scarif and that said upload 17 hours ago. I looked at your channel and clicked sub button. Ha ha ha. Oh, that's awesome, man. I, did, I had no idea you're an OG fan like that. That's awesome. Thank you, man. Yeah, the Scarif... My first Scarif is what gave me a lot of attention. I heard we're supposed to get a non-animated... Yeah, we're getting a non-animated series as well. That's not the piece I wanted. These pieces I wanted. I've been in Japan before or no, but I actually am half Thai and half Italian. So I have been to Thailand and Italy before. And it's awesome. How difficult was Scarif? Um, my first Scarif mock was pretty hard because I had never built a mock before, so I was learning as I went. But as time went on, it got easier, and then by the time I went to the second Scarif mock, it was it was pretty simple. And it, I flew, I pretty much flew through the uh, process. What is the main piece you use in this mock? Ooh, one by two bricks of all sorts of colors, probably. Definitely have a lot of those in this mock. I mean, you could see it just alone in the trench. Maybe a shout-out while getting me 200. I mean, everyone sees you. Everyone in this chat will see you right now. So if you're not sub to JPA Productions and you like his content, go check him out. You gotta work on the little details now. Make it look good, you know what I'm saying? Shout-out to JPA from Dragon Bricks. How old are you? I'm 18. Pretty sure you just asked that question. Just Ice, you're not eating it, dude. You best be eating soon. Or eat while you're watching the live stream. That's what I would do. Any plans for ATM6 UCS? Yes, I am plan on, planning on using a, um, a design from somebody else. He's currently still working on it. I believe he's about halfway done. So hopefully hopefully in about a month or so, he'll be done. And I'm, I'm going to be able to uh, buy the instructions and the parts list. And if all goes well, hopefully I'll be able to get two of them in the mock. Which would be just ridiculous, but awesome at the same time. Waiting for the pasta. Get it, get it. I can't really see that. It's like kind of close. There we go. So where, we, what's, what states are we in? What countries are we in? I know we got a few overseas, but I want to get a feel for like who's watching the stream, who lives where. Don't give me your address or anything by any means, but like, you know, time zone or something like that. Lego Star Wars Pro asks, will you keep crate built? One hundred percent, yes. I'm gonna be storing it in a crate and putting it in the basement. Get it, crate. Get it, huh? All right, what's next? What do you have to do? I'm just looking at the trench that's on my table right now because I'm trying to think about what I should be doing. So I think we're going to try and add some pipes to this front, this back side, this back side. All right. So let's get working on that. I'm going to quickly just discard some pieces that I'm not using at the moment so I can get a clear picture of what we're doing here. Cal Cal oh, wow. Chat blew up. All right. Let's go back a little bit. Indiana, Canada, Jersey. Jersey, you're not in Jersey. Are you really? The U Earth, thanks man, I had no idea. California, Bavaria, all right, all right. Canada, Canada, Can hey, no spamming, no spam. Canada, North Carolina, okay, all right. We got a pretty wide, if you guys didn't hear Beyond the Brick, they got viewers from North Korea. I'd say that's, that's pretty, uh, that's pretty impressive. What are we doing? I keep losing my train of thought. All right, we gotta do some. We gotta do some pipelining now. Buckeye State. Haha. <laughs> All right, let's get working. This part usually, this part might be boring for you guys because I kind of have to just play around with how this looks. But 
think we'll be able to make something work here. Nope, that's not gonna work. This, these are all the pieces I have left of one by two bricks. So probably get to make another order for those sometime this week. Arizona, okay. North Korea is horrifying. Yeah, I can't disagree with you there. North Korean Lego fans. The day that I get a North Korean viewer will be... I don't even know. I guess when I'm as big as Beyond the Brick. Those pieces, here we go. Lego Star Wars Pro, gotta go late for me. Alright, see you, man. Thank you for so much for stopping by. Dalek Bricks, what's up? Looking good so far. Thank you very much. The trick is, what I did is I used these little pipe pieces, and I... There's so many bags here, and I have no idea where anything is at the moment. So, we gotta find these pieces. Here we go. I also have a UCS resistance bomber in the works. It's gonna take me a, a while to design it. Awesome, man. Send me send that my way. I'd love to get a UCS resistance bomber. That'd be really freaking cool. Ohio? Okay. I've been to South Korea, like... Three times, but not North Korea. I, I wouldn't recommend going to North Korea. Nothing against them, but I just don't think it's safe. <laughs> in all honesty. At least at least for Americans, I should probably say that. Alright, so let's get that. Put this piece there, see how this looks. Yeah, it's really hard to get into North Korea. Yeah. Personally, I have no no interest in going to North Korea, but some people do. See, that's too small. If I add this, it's too big. So, 46 subs away from 150. All right. Everyone that lives in North Korea is a box, and Kim Jong Un is the control of the box. Pretty much. All right. Let's see how this looks. It sucks because not all these pieces like line up, and I gotta fool around with it a little bit. Try that. Oh, crap. It doesn't work. All right, we're going to have to redesign that a little bit. Ms. Dread23, what's going on? Thanks for dropping by the stream. Have you checked out my recent mock? If you linked it to me, I've looked at it. But I, I, I watch so many mocks a day, it's like kind of crazy. So, I probably did in all honesty. This is gonna fit here. This has gotta fit here, right? Oh, I gotta get rid of this one by two. As usual, guys, is there any suggestions that you uh, you think that I should do or implement into the mock? Always let me know. 127 away from 8k subs. That's crazy. Congrats. Jeez, 8k subs is a lot. That's awesome. Lego dude, what's up? How's it going? Good, man. We're making some progress with the crate mock at the moment. Get some get some boxes here. Make it look like a trench. Have you seen my building crate series? Uh, I'm not sure, man. I, I, I've, I watch so many mocks a day. It's crazy. I always forget who I'm watching. Most likely if it's crate I have. LCW Productions, what's up? I could probably show you guys actually right now what this is gonna look like. Let me get a few minifigs. Right, so this is the minifigure right here, right? So he's gonna be standing up at about this this height. I'm probably gonna add actually um, like another plate just to boost him up a little bit. But this is a snot technique. So that's kinda, might be hard for you to see, but that's kinda how high it is. <laughs> just nice, OMG at 50 subs. Awesome, congratulations. Right now. I want to try and do something where it like peers around the corner. So I don't know how I'm gonna do that, but are you gonna make those angles less of right angles? Um, in the trench, it's gonna it's not gonna look as angular as it does um, in the final product. This is all gonna be um, like covered with the plate, and then it's all gonna be the snot technique above it. So you won't be able to see like the defined lines of it. Brick with me and LCW are flu bros. Oh god, that sucks. Hope you get better. 
Can I get popular Lego YouTubers to sub to me? So far, I have Brick Worlds. My 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 policy is if I like your content, I subscribe. I don't I don't subscribe like if I just because well I do subscribe if you're just like a personal friend, but like if I like your if I genuinely enjoy your content, I, you will see me appear in your sub box. But I don't even think I've watched a video on your channel yet. So, Nico Bay, I'm so sorry, but I have to go to sleep. See you tomorrow. Okay, see ya. Thanks for stopping by. Dragon Bricks, welcome back. Hmm. I'm just thinking right now, guys. I'm just thinking about what I should be doing. Put some crates in some spots, you know what I'm saying? Get those crates in there. Make that look nice. Let's get some figs up in here. Let's get some of our trusty figs. Add some life to this mock right now. You have Garrett Crow, so to me, that's awesome. We're gonna put these figs here just so you guys can kind of get an idea of what this is gonna eventually look like. I have four crate time lapse mocks. You built four separate mocks, or you have like four time lapse videos of the same mock? All right. What should I do, guys? Give, give me, give me some, give me some advice on what I should be doing right now. I want to add a, like a pipeline here, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna, I'm gonna work on that for now. Do you watch Republic Bricks? I don't think so. I'm not very in tune with the. I, I only know like the, the new upcoming guys, like the bigger guy. Like I, I don't know how many subs he has, but like I just know like I know Jay, Solid Bricks, Chris, I guess Lego Spencer. That's it. Like I really don't know too many people. Four separate mocks altogether. You gave me like 30k views. Yeah, that's awesome, dude. Probably been asked this a lot, but do, do you enjoy The Last Jedi? Yeah, of course I did. I loved it. Um, like, there's with every movie, there comes some stuff that I don't like about it, but I mean, I thought it was a fantastic movie. Will you use the Heavy Scout Walker? Probably not. Because I don't like how I don't like how it looks, to be honest with you. I wonder if I could put this piece here. And then get a... Okay, that's an angle like that, maybe. Hmm. Or I can try and build it into the wall. Let's try that. Last Jedi was awesome. Yeah. The only thing I really... Well, there's a few things I didn't like about it, but... Like, I thought the whole Canto Bite thing was a little bit weird. And I thought Holdo's character was kind of... Being vague for no apparent reason. Like, she, there was no reason for her to... Withhold that level of information from, from, her, uh, from her crew and from the Resistance. Oh yeah, I I love the movie though. So I've like people who people who backlash it are stuck are stuck in the past, you know. Star Wars is changing rapidly, and they need to just kind of come to grips with that. Let's get that piece right there. That piece looks good right there. I don't know what that does, but it looks good. Agreed, honest. Yeah, I was probably I was personally disappointed with the last Jedi, but I'm happy that a lot of people enjoyed it. Yeah, what what, what were you like disappointed about it though? Definitely parts of the movie I didn't like, and I wasn't for it, but overall, I think I liked it. Snoke didn't need to die. Um, you're right, but I also think that the way he died was was pretty epic. Because, like, for instance, we got... We, we thought Kylo was going to become good, but then we realized he just wanted all that power. Or at least he had, a, like, a glimpse of him being good, but then he, like, quickly went back to his old state of mind. We are being grenade. Alright, alright. Did you hear about the two new trilogies? Yep, Ryan Johnson is making one, and uh, I believe Game of Thrones, the creators, or not the creators, I think it's Weiss or something like that. I love Game of Thrones, personally, so I'm excited to see how they do that. It's, I'm hoping that's going to add like a little bit of a, a newer feel to Star Wars, you know what I'm saying? Electric Lego, what's going on? i got to build this wall back up now. The movie was five out of ten. Okay, that's that's a that's a fair rating, I guess. The way Snoke died was hilarious. Yeah, it was kind of funny, but at the same time, it was like, damn. You know, like that was it was really cool to see, see them both fight like that. That was my favorite scene in the movie, by the way. For those of you who did not know. I kind of want to put these pieces here. 
Oh, it fits? Oh, it doesn't fit. Shoot. Last Jedi was the first Star Wars movie I ever saw. Really? That's pretty cool. So, uh, as your first Star Wars movie, would, like, what did you think? What was your impressions? Uh, Kylo Ren was an actual badass in the film. He was not the dude in Force Awakens. He was another monster. Took all the power for himself. Yeah, that's what I, that's what I loved about his character in that. Because he, he kind of looked like a wussy in the uh, Force Awakens, but... He's a pretty talented dude. <laughs> not gonna lie. Like, he's got some powers, and he's definitely not a joke anymore. So, that was also a pretty important thing for me, is validating that Kylo Ren isn't just a annoying person. Uh, do you think they'll bring back Captain from the Captain Phasma book into episode 9? I didn't read the book, but if you're asking me if they are gonna bring back Captain Phasma, I hope not, because the chances are survi of surviving a pit like that is... I don't even want to get into that. Like, if they brought her back, that'd be just be a joke. Honestly, I put something there. I want to put a crate there. Actually, let's do that. Uh, Lego spoiled the movie because they made Snoke, so we can separate. <laughs> Good one. I like that one. Calvin is the most dynamic character in the whole franchise. I freaking love him. Yeah, I think he's. See, I don't know. I'll see if Snoke didn't die, I would have assumed that Kylo Ren would have become good at the end. But now Snoke's dead, quote unquote. I'm not sure exactly how they're gonna handle that. So it's a lot of questions, which I'm which I'm happy about. You know, it's not just a typical Star Wars movie. It's something different, something we haven't gotten. So I'm happy with how they're handling it right now. A lot of work just to get those two pieces out of there. Screw Captain Phasma, she was terrible. I was hoping they would do something really cool with her. Or at least make the fight longer. <laughs> but, uh, looks like they did. They had other plans. I think she kind of went out really easily, too. It's like, she's like the captain of the First Order, and she got smacked in the head with a baseball, pretty much. Leo Cash, what's up? Welcome, welcome. Ben Swallow was thick. God, dude. So tell me, would you guys rather Ray end up with Finn or Ray end up with Poe Dameron? That's my question to you guys. <laughs> Both areas. Oh gosh. To me, the last Jedi felt a bit confused and disoriented. Many of the subplots were underwhelming. Yeah, exactly. The subplot with Kanto Bite was just unneeded. I thought. I think, honestly, the ideal way that I would have liked for the movie to go is Finn dies and he sacrifices himself to save everybody. All, everything blows up, and then, like, Kylo Ren and his shuttle can land, and they can still battle Luke. I think that would have been the the optimal way to go, but I'm not the director. It would be cool if I was, though. Ray and Finn, period. Finn, yeah. Try and Poe make a better-looking baby. Ray and Poe? <laughs> Honestly, I wouldn't mind if Poe got with Ray, Because, like, that, that look he gave her at the end was kind of like, what's up, you know? What's cooking? How are you, my whiz? I'm doing great, man. How are you, my cash? Like, tell me that wouldn't be interesting to see Ray and Poe. The leader of the... Well, I guess... Yeah, I guess essentially the leader of the Resistance and the leader of... Uh, or I guess the Last Jedi. <laughs> I wish Rose died saving Finn. Yeah. I just... Rose's character was awful in my opinion. She was a good. She was a pretty good actress, though. But I just think she was un unneeded. Yeah, Finn. I, I like that was the moment. That was his moment right there. Like the music, everything felt right for him to sacrifice himself for everybody he knew. But I guess I, I guess I guess that tells us that he has a bigger role in uh the new movie, right? So I guess we have that to look forward to. Oh, I think that Finn's gonna eventually die though. Poe was like heart tick. Yeah, exactly. Poe like looks at her and he's like, damn. What's up? So. Hopefully we're going to get some more of that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it would be interesting to see if Rose crashed Finn and they sacri she sacrificed. Yeah, that would be that would be cool. That would have that, that redeemed her character in my, my eyes. 
Because she was, like, a fun character, but, like, just not needed, I don't think. I didn't think. I don't know, Poe and Ray hasn't really been set up at all at this point. I would feel kind of short, shoehorned in. Yeah, I could agree with that. But I think it's just, like, an interesting thing to think about, you know? Instead of the typical Ray Finn or Ray and Kylo Ren, which is a potential thing. Bricks to you, gotta, gotta go head out. See you, Brick. We'll see you, man. Hopefully see you in tomorrow's stream. I want Finn to die, like, seriously. Yeah. Not because I... I want him to die as well, but not because I hate his character, but because I, uh, like, I just thought that was, like, the right time for him to die. Like, I don't know if that's... If I worded that correctly. But, like, that was his moment. And that would have been an awesome scene. Ooh, that looks good. I like that. I need some one-by-ones. Here we go. General Hux was hilarious. Yeah. The, the, the beginning was... The beginning was amazingly funny. I thought it was really funny, at least... <laughs> I remember the first time I saw the movie, the whole entire theater was cracking up in that first opening scene. It was really funny. Yeah, it definitely is an interesting pairing. It's definitely worth at least exploring and seeing what could happen, you know what I'm saying? Like, nothing bad can happen. Hmm. What should I use? Let's use these pieces more. One man doesn't like Rey in the Star Wars universe, let's be honest here. Snoke, if you want to consider Snoke a man. Hux, Hux probably doesn't like, he's probably not a big fan of Rey either. <laughs> now that I think about it. Hmm. All right, I think I want to add another, I think I want to add pipes over here. So we're going to do that next. Yeah, the beginning was nice. Dalek Bricks got to go. Great stream so far. Crate's looking great. Thanks you. Thank you. And I will see you hopefully tomorrow or hopefully in a video and a comment. Uh, you should let me stream with you. I'm not streaming on Google Hangouts, Cash. I always stream on a, on a separate program. Because it's, it's a little better quality for me. At the beginning, I felt like it took so many jokes based on things from Earth, but it was still fun. Yeah, definitely. Mini Bricks are still here. Ethan Network, what's up, what's up? First time I've seen your name tonight. Oh yeah, how was Brick Fair, by the way? Trying to think of what like what I should be. I'm gonna try to take part of this off right now and reconstruct it. Ethan, you're alive. Yeah, how's Endor doing? You're Endor. You're Ethan Endor. Ethan Network guys, you don't have him subbed. Something wrong with you. He's making a nice Endor mock, or he's. I think he's done, right? Although yeah, I thought you said you were gonna add some more aspects to it after uh, Brick Fair though, but I could be wrong. Could be making it up. We're going to go back to the other piece, I think. Anyone else go to the fan showing? I mean, the day before it came out? No, I did not. Aspects of Canto Bite like the casino and the horse race felt like they were lazily... Yeah, exactly. It, it felt like a prequel. That's... In all, in all honesty, that short 30-minute segment we were on Canto Bite felt like a prequel. And I hated every second of it. <laughs> I think I thought it was just I thought they could have went so many different ways, but it's okay though. I still love the movie. Ethan I works at Brick Fair was great. I filmed daily vlogs. Awesome man. I cannot wait to see those. Or all of them. Alright, what are we gonna do here? So yeah, getting, getting a little past my level of expertise here. Oh, you didn't get an award. <laughs> what do you think about the beginning of The Last Jedi? The best opening scene to a film. To a Star Wars film. In terms of comedic value. Not in terms of like epicness. But in terms of just being funny. So right now guys. We're just trying to build like these pipelines. That kind of go across each section of the mock itself. Because on Crete. There are actually like pipelines. Throughout the trench. So that's pretty much what I'm just trying to do right now. The Last Jedi has definitely been growing on me. Yeah, I saw that movie five times, and I think my third my third or second viewing was probably the best. And he says, nice stream. Thanks, man. Ethan Network, I just subbed to you. Yeah, man. If you guys if you guys aren't subbed to him, you should definitely go check out his stuff at least. He has some really cool mocks. Actually, while he's here, Ethan, would you mind telling us what you're building next? Because I'm really interested. I don't like how they jumped uh, over the place of the film. I thought that was... Yeah. Yeah, I could see that. Uh, Brickwiz, I added much more stuff during Brick Fair. I took an awesome showcase video with Brick Builder Studios camera. Oh, that's cool. 
So hopefully I'll get the footage in as soon as I can. That's awesome, dude. I can't wait for that. Coming together, coming together, coming together. We're gonna do something right there. Do you have the UCS Slave 1? I do. I do have it sealed though, because I'm not sure if I want to build that. Because <laughs> I, not, in all honesty, I don't think I have the room <laughs> to be real with you. All right. What I want to do here is I want to put a box right there and then have the pipe going into the box. So we're gonna. Switch that up a little bit. Get rid of that, get rid of that. Oh, it's stuck on the plate. Oh no. Garrett, what's up, brother? How we doing today? Hope you're feeling better, man. And thank you. Missing you on Jay's live streams, man. Same, I have UCS Sealed Slave 1. Yeah, my only problem is I don't, like, I just don't know if I have room for it, right? Like, as my room stands right now. Because this this mock takes up a lot of space in my room. It's kind of crazy. But I'm sure, I'll fit. I'm, sure, I'm sure I'll eventually build it. I like how Kylo Ren was saying, uh, let go, you're still holding on, basically, the aspect of life. I'd say that's more of the aspect of his life, right? Because he's been disappointed by Luke, betrayed by Luke, in, in at least his eyes. Garrett Hall, I'll be back next week. Thanks, my friend. No, no problem, man. Flu absolutely sucks. So that's three people today in today's chat who have had the flu. And I'm happy I could help those of you who I did help uh, through the annoying time of the flu. Because it sucks. Hey, how much of the mock have you finished? Um, I'd probably say about 50%, a little bit more. Like, we're, we're getting through all, like, the annoying stuff right now, if that makes sense. Uh, I will not be doing another large-scale mock right now. I'm currently working on my saddest Star Wars scenes in LEGO series. <laughs> that sounds pretty interesting. Plus, he has landed on my 400 sub day. Why do you think they made the Heavy Scout Walker? Um, I think it was something that they saw in like the design phase and then Lego said, oh, all right, well, we'll see that and we'll make money off of it. And then it just never appeared. It's the only explanation I can come up with. The LCW feel better, bro. That sucks. Getting sick sucks. I need one sub to 50. I could sub to you while I'm streaming, I would, just to give you the 50. But I can't, and you know that. Alright, what is over here? Should I think we gotta add something over here? Let's see what we could work with. Did episode 1 in November, Qui Gon's funeral. I need to hurry up and do episode 2. Okay. See ya. Come back in 13 minutes. Alright, see ya. I don't see why everybody hates the Heavy Skywalker. Said it was supposed to be in the film, but they cut it out. I mean, I don't hate it. I just don't like it. I, ne I never really hate a Lego set. I just am not a fan of how it looks. We just gotta add some more. It's hard to do these pipes around these corners because there's so much stuff. You know what I'm saying? Do you know uh, when the Infinity War sets come out? I do not. I really don't follow that. Although I am really excited for the movie though. Because that looks like it's going to be really cool. I think I'm going to add some details on the uh, ledges right here. Yeah, let's do that. Let's get some tiles. What do we got? Some white tiles, red tiles, dark tiles. Here we go. Garrett, how my interview go? Dude, I haven't heard back from them. I went for the first interview last Friday. And then she said I was going to get contacted again. And they haven't, so I'm a little worried. Um, but tomorrow is a week, so if nothing tomorrow, then I'm just gonna call them and just be like, "Listen, um, I think you, sh you know, you gotta tell me if I if I'm still being considered or if I should start looking to other places." Um, but the way that like I, the interview went and the way that the lady talked about it, like I think I did pretty well. So I'm sure it's just like the manager's busy or something, but I'm still keeping my fingers crossed on that. Cause that'd be that'd be super clutch if I can get that job. 
Infinity War comes out in May. All right. Thanks, Ace Gamer. One way, one away to one sub. <laughs> Opinion on defensive crate. Um, the set, I thought it had a lot of potential. And I would have personally uh, wanted to see a set that focuses just on the tower. Or making the tower bigger than having, like... I would have rather uh, saw um, a set for like the ski speeder and then a separate one for the t tower, if that makes sense. And I wouldn't mind paying some more. I'm losing all my pieces. I'm losing my mind, guys. Guess it took me forever to hear back from them. I won't worry too much. Okay, that's cool. Thank you, man. Bricknado, what's going on? What's your interview for? For the Lego store. I'm losing my mind. I, did I not just have some one by one red plates here? Here we go. Hopefully, yeah, because if I, if I can get that job at, at the Lego store, not only is it a fun place to work, but I mean, discounts are nice too. So, I'm hoping that can happen sometime soon. Vents, where are my vent pieces? Nope, nope. Where are these pieces at, fam? In here. There we go. Because you're gonna check out my stream on Saturday. Yeah, I should be if I I have notifications on for your channel So whenever you start streaming, I'll, I'll know and I'll, I should be there So like kind of a hard mock to build for me, you know, honesty right now I'm watching your stream on button Lego. That's awesome. That's what I usually do too. whenever I'm watching somebody's stream That's how I usually just work on the mock or build a set or something like that the discount is delicious, bro. I know. She told me what the discount was, and <laughs> my jaw dropped. I was like, there's no way you that, that, that that's possible. But she's like, it is. I'm like, Lego's awesome. Bricknado, anything? Oh, never mind. How much are Lego store discounts? Uh, I, don't, I, I don't know if I can say, right? I'm, I mean, I'm assuming I could say because I don't have the job. Right? I don't know. I feel, like, I feel like Lego is watching me right now from my window. And like... If I if I spill the beans, they're gonna take me out. I have a Legoland Discovery Center close to me. That's cool, but it's annoying that they don't give out. They don't give out or accept VIP points. That's crazy. That's just like pointless. Then, <laughs> like, what's the point of having it then? The discount extends to the online Pricker Brick store. Yeah, that's crazy, man. <laughs> that's absolutely insane. I mean, the discount is like a major reason why, but like also. It's like, I like, I love to work there. And yeah, Garrett, Garrett says, so basically what happens if Garrett's saying it, I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and say it. So, uh, it's 30% off within the first 90 days of you working there. And then if you work for the past 90 days, it's 50% off everything except I believe, uh, like the UCS Falcon or something like that, because that, that deal would be insane. Have you ever been to Legoland? I have, but that was when I was like really young, like five. <laughs> so I haven't been there in a long time. Uh, let's see. Where's the Lego store you're applying for? It is in New Jersey. It's the Freehold Raceway Mall. Plus, pick a brick wall is kind of lame. It depends on what your store is, because I've seen some pretty awesome pick a brick walls. I've seen pick a brick walls with the uh, Trans Clear teal blue studs, and that was an amazing deal. Like absolutely incredible deal. Oh, I can't connect that. I gotta be careful too, because this, this, I gotta be able to separate these mo these pieces. Like these plates when I move them. Two hours away, that sucks. Yeah, that discount is insane. Hey, Brickwoods, can you check out my channel out after stream? Yeah, if you want me to check out anything, guys, like I said before, either message me or, uh, or comment it on a previous video, and I'll probably check it out when I got time. Yeah, you bought three cups of those studs, dude. I would have gotten so many. Like Scarif, I used, I think it was over almost 10,000 of those. And I didn't have the pick a brick. So it was a lot of money, which sucked. Absolutely sucked. Regular Lego store pick a brick is pretty good. Yeah, it all depends on what your store is. And also if they restock it too. That's, that's a huge part of it. Got a bunch of pounds of two by two as well yeah like like if you think about it pick a brick for eight dollars that's crazy <laughs> Connor murray asked how old i am i'm 12 
I just saw how much the employee discount was on Brickset. All I have to say is, dang, yeah, I know. It's 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 an insane discount. So I'm gonna keep my fingers crossed. Can we switch places? <laughs> I ran out of Lego plates on my mock. Ooh, that sucks. I hate when you're like in the middle of a build and then you just all of a sudden run out of pieces and like you're just in the zone and you're like ready to bang it out. And then that happens. Oof. Yeah, Connor Murray knows what's up. What's up, fam? Brick Wiz, check out my most recent chat message. Uh, let me scroll up. Bricknado, 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 Bricknado. Brick Wiz, hello. <laughs> my life goal right now is to get the UCS Money and Falcon. Honestly, I feel like that's everyone's life goal, too. <laughs> but, like, even if I got it, I wouldn't know where to put it. Because it's ginormous. And I feel like there's no spot in my house right now that has the ability to withhold something like that. And it's so expensive, too. Like, $800 for a certain Lego set. It's crazy. I'm uh, probably going to be ending the stream in about a half hour. Maybe, like, 9 o'clock or something like that. I'm trying to get this last part of the uh, mock done. Or at least this area of the trench uh, progress. Just so I can show off some more stuff for the segments. Are you hungry? No, I'm not hungry this time around, LEGO Pro. I have money. I just can't get my hands on it. Well, you could always... Oh, the Falcon? Well, if if you want, if you're looking to, fo to find the Falcon, you can follow... Um, oh, the Twitter account. What's it called? I'll find it for you guys. Because they always tell you when it's in stock. Let me see if I can find it for you guys really quick. The Brick Fan. I believe this is it. Yeah. So this on Twitter. Hopefully that focuses. Focus, maybe? No? Alright, it's called The Brick Fan. On Twitter, and they always tell you when, whenever anything's in stock and everything like that. So, like, they, like literally, like, two days ago, they said the Millennium Falcon is back in stock. Go order it now. So, if you guys want to get updates on that go check that out back in like five minutes all right see you at nine <laughs> <laughs> with the employee discount apply to all sets that's it no it, it applies to most sets just not the ucs falcon i'm pretty sure and maybe even some bigger sets i'm not exactly sure but you have pop socket yeah man so ever I, ever since i've been a kid i've been watching tanner fox he's a vlogger so i finally supported him a little bit Got a pop sock. That's pretty cool. That dude's an awesome uh, YouTuber. And I've been watching him for like years too. So, it's awesome. Yo, Brickwiz, I live in Freehold. Tell me if you get... Oh, you live in Freehold? Yo, let's go. I will tell you if I get the job. Yo, yo, in a year, dude, or like whenever I do my face reveal, we're going to get some vlogs at Bricknado Studios at the Lego store. I'm telling you right now. Mark them in the calendars, kids. I think it's looking pretty good right now. Yeah, Tanner Fox is cool. His videos are awesome. I'm just trying to add as much small detail as I can. Because with, with a planet like Crate, it can get a little bit repetitive. So just the little variations and things can make the mock look good. So I'm just adding smaller pieces, different color pieces everywhere. <laughs> yes, we are. That's awesome, dude. I'm getting ready for it. I'm mentally preparing already. Ooh, let's, get some, let's get a plate there. Nope, that's not the piece I'm looking for. Here we go. So, you guys, if you're new or you just got here or something like that, um, I'm going to be live streaming. This live stream is probably going to end about a half hour. And then I'm going to be live streaming tomorrow again, working on the crate um, for probably about two and a half hours because I want to get a lot of progress done. Did the Brick Show die? They don't upload anymore? Uh, I have no idea. But they have a crap ton of subs. I know that. <laughs> Favorite Star Wars planet ever? Scarif. I'm on Bricklink right now. Okay. Awesome. Step number one is complete. Right In the description of my videos, um, I usually have... It should be there all the time, actually. But I have a little section dedicated to trusted Bricklink sellers that I always use. So if you're iffy about buying from Bricklink or something like that, go check that out. And they, and then I should be able to. They, they always do a good job. So, Rylo Bricks, welcome back. Welcome back. Nine 
New Arkham episode tomorrow? Okay. Got some event pieces right there. Make that look nice. You know what I'm saying? Get that there. Do we still have any Thrawn Lug members in the chat? I know my chat was being uh, consumed by Thrawn Lug before. Honestly, my main goal is to get into Rebel Lug. I feel like that'd be super awesome. But that's probably not going to happen for, for a decent amount of time, let's be real. It's ridiculous how expensive LEGO sets are. Yeah. But it's also just Star Wars. Like, honestly, it's because Star Wars is, like, the main thing and it's copyrighted and everything. So, they have to pay an additional fee to have Star Wars sets in stock. So, you got to also kind of think about it that way. Taking over. Garrett, all right. I got a dip. Keep up the good work. All right, thanks, man. Thank you, Garrett, for stopping by. I'll catch you you and Jay's stream hopefully soon. Hmm. What can I do here? Let's add some details right there. I'm trying to get into beta lug um, in the next, next voting. Yeah, me too, actually. I did apply there. Or apply. I guess that's the right term, right? Apply. My goal is to reach 1,000 subscribers by May. 2018. It's less than three subs a day. Please contribute to my goal. What do you got right now, Mini Bricks? Channel, channel growth is funny, man. Like, there's some times where I'll get, like, no subs and I'll just feel, like, so unmotivated. But then there are also times where I'll get, like, an insane amount of subs in, like, an hour. <laughs> so it's very uh, inconsistent for me. How much did you buy those resistance trooper for? Um, these are from the old battle packs and they're like $9. But I actually only have like <laughs> 10 figures for the resistance. So I'm probably gonna have to buy uh, some more figs. I wonder how this would look. This is just me experimenting. <laughs> Not a very experienced builder. So it's just me kind of fooling around. Do you Toys R Us uh, would have a lot of clearance sets if they aren't closing? Uh, the one near me isn't closing and the nearest one is like two hours away. <laughs> But if the discount was ever like insane, I'd probably make the drive there because I'd probably want some 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 more of the uh, creator sets, honestly. Not the creator sets, the XL creator box. That's what that's what I mean. For my Kate mock, I use the underside of turned two by two plates. Okay. LCW production. You deserve so many subs. Thank you, man. We're just getting started, though, you know. But I do appreciate that. It does make me feel awesome. So thank you for that. Yo, Brickwoods, if I ever meet you at Freehold, well, I'll buy you a battle pack. Awesome, dude. With my discount, I'll buy you, uh, well, if I get the job, I'll buy you something, too, with the discount. Let's put that guy there. We got this guy. I'll put this guy there for you. So that's looking pretty good. Not bad. I have five Toys Us closing in my area. Damn, LCW, if you ever find the XL Creative Box, message me, and I could PayPal you some money for you to ship it to me for a good price. For Baylog, we're trying to get more organized, so we'll add one more member, and then we don't want, won't add another one for a while. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, that sucks. What do you mean? I mean, organized. I mean, I guess you just want to, like, take a second to count the members, I guess. I can, I can understand that. When did you start on YouTube? I started on February 27th of last year. So we're coming up on the anniversary in about 20 days, actually, I think exactly. So that's pretty cool. When does the next round of voting start, by the way? Uh, who was that who said that? DP Studios. Uh, hey, so you said you're going to Lego convention at New Jersey, right? So if I'm close, I'll probably go. Yeah, I'm going to be in Edison. I'm trying to think what more we can add. I'm gonna turn this a little bit to get it, so I can get a good look at it. I think I need I need some more pipes. The, the tough thing is to do go. It's like it's hard to do on these angled bricks. It's like my most difficult thing to do. Yeah, Rebel Log, they all in college. Yeah, 
it sucks if you're not commuting. Like I, I commute, so I drive to school. And I'm, gonna be, I'm able to stay home and have my awesome Legos to come home to. It's hard when you're away. Ryan Murray says, can I have a signed brick? Of course, bro. Of course. How do you want me to sign it? Well, my real name or the brick was? Yeah, Brick Nadio, I'll see you uh, at the fair too. Yoda Starfighter and Brickling is $16 new. Damn, it's a pretty good deal. What are Rebel Lug and Beta Lug? <laughs> are you being sarcastic or are you actually asking? Because if you're actually asking, uh, they're like groups of people who build Lego on YouTube and Flickr and everything like that. And it's just like a community. Just, uh, just like a bunch of friends, I guess. For simple terms. Uh, let's see. Put some more boxes here. I got a whole bunch of these crate boxes. These li literal crates. Can I have Rebel Trooper? I would if I could and if I had some to spare, but I don't. So, unfortunately, no. Surprise me, baby. Alright. Message me your Tinder name and we'll hook up. Because if you ever see a shrimpy 13 year old with a brick NATO hat. Oh, you have a hat? That's pretty cool. Alright. I'm new to the whole mock thing. Yeah, so basically anything that en ends with lug or lug is a lego user group and it's just like it's just like a group that builds in like this it's like they just share creations and stuff like that so it's like it's pretty fun it's pretty cool hope to join one one day the dark side what's going on welcome to the stream Ooh, i want a lcw productions hat I don't even know, like, how did you get your hat? You just, like, I guess you just custom ordered it, right? Or, did you, like, did you get merch or something, or? There's some more crates up in here. We got plenty. Of, I got, like, 12 of these right here. Dark side, stop spamming, fam. Put that crate right there. That works there. That works there. Lego socks. No, you're not stupid. Dude, I got I got Buddy the Elf pajama pants. So if anyone's stupid, I am. Oh, we get open crate, put some stuff here. If I give you a hundred dollars, will you store my parts? Yes. In a heartbeat. Send me all your parts, and I will sort it. <laughs> Once you get more mods, hopefully the spamming will cease. Yeah, I'm still in the process of just trying to decide who's going to be mod and who's not, so that's that's kind of it. Never understood why people spammed, in all honesty. I'm just trying to brainstorm right now, like, what more I can, I can do. I've only, I've only been building mocks for, like... Little, little little less than a year, so like it's hard for me to get ideas sometimes. Any recommend any recommendations, guys? I'll bring you in a little closer. Uh, there we go. That's the trench. Alexa, tell us a joke. Did you hear about the circle that graduated from college? It's about 360 degrees. That was a terrible joke. I need to not have the flu so I can go outside and run again. <laughs> Lego Pro Size, we love a channel. Thank you very much, man. Two miles a day. That's pretty solid, man. Brick was you are a killer builder. Thank you. Thank you. I do appreciate that. I gained a whole three pounds. Hey, relax, man. Three pounds is nothing. I'm trying to think. Like, I'm just out of ideas for this. Like, ideally, I want to add more of the uh, pipelining, like, around here, I guess, but... Could you, uh, you might not be able, be able to hear, hear Alexa. <laughs> Alexa, let me turn a ladder for you guys. Hold up. Let's get this. Alexa, tell us a joke. Why are ghosts so popular at parties? Because they always bring the booze. Oh my gosh. It's full of terrible jokes. You are so awesome. Do you experiment in LED? Uh, not really. I don't have the uh, design capability to do something like that. 
The resistance battle pack went from 20 it's two dollars and three cents is it open and used though and sometimes it says that um like there the minifigures don't come in it or something like that so you gotta be careful of that because that's a real possibility because that can happen all the time <laughs> be mean and be mean uh, to lcw productions it actually works just turn it up all right let's let's try it hey alexa be mean to lcw productions sorry I'm not sure. You lied to me, LCW. I was looking forward to that. An alcohol joke, how dare you? My channel's gonna get flagged. I'm gonna get demonetized now. They actually have sort of bench thing to stand up on in on the trench. Yeah, well, that's like kind of this thing. It's kind of hard to see as like the camera. Put it like that, I guess. I don't know. It's a better it's a better view. I'm trying to just find ways to make it look like the pipeline from the actual movie. <laughs> oh, be mean and okay. Here we go. Let's try it again. Alexa, be mean and be mean to Joe. Sorry, I'm not sure. LCW, what you doing, fam? Where's the Maddie F mobile when you need it? You're right, fam. Mr. Brick, what's going on? Thank you for tuning in. Do you play basketball? I do not. I used to play baseball in high school, but I don't play sports in college. Be mean and be mean to Joe. I just did LCW. It didn't work out. All right, let's get let's get situated here. I gotta look at the pieces I got. I have the the mini one, like not not the tall one, like the mini one. I don't know if that affects how she works. I would think it doesn't, but <laughs> I'm not gonna ask her what the fox says. That's an old meme, meme Rilo. I will not relive that from 2011 or 2012. There has been a couple bad... Yeah, exactly. You got to be careful on uh, Bricklink because sometimes they're, they'll say there's no minifigures. Oh, excuse me. Or anything like that. So you got to be careful. All right, I'm just getting organized right here, guys. I'm not going to end the stream probably for another 5-10 minutes, but I just want to uh, make sure that I am aware of the pieces that I have. My dad did it to me when he said to stop, stop. <laughs> Ask her who is the brick whiz. Oh, okay, let's try it. Alexa, who is the brick whiz? Here's something I found on Wikipedia. The Wiz is a 1978 American musical adventure film produced by Universal Pictures and Motown Productions. Alexa, and shut your mouth. That was not, that's not the real brick whiz, guys. Don't listen to her. I refuse, Rilo. I'm not reliving 2012. Maybe at the end. Of when, maybe when we're about to sign off, I'll do it for you. Alexa's dumb, dude. Yeah, that's right. You heard me. Sorry, I don't know that. <laughs> Guys, should we make her a permanent part of the stream? Like a buddy, like a building buddy. Would that be cool? I feel like that'd be interesting to have her. <laughs> Abuse confirmed. Brick was a catfish. Ryan Murray. You're about to get yourself banned, kid. At the end of the stream, I'll ask her what, what the fox is, alright? I'm just getting situated right now. That's it. This piece. Can you still use these pieces? I'm just going to move this ski speeder out of here. It's taking up way too much room. <laughs> I'll make her a mod. You have more viewers right now than Brick Queen? Really? I used to have the cringy YouTube channel looking at my old videos and it got my voice. Yeah, if you look at my old videos, my first video, I was like, oh my gosh. That was me. <laughs> uh, let's see. Brignado, are you streaming tomorrow? Yeah, 3.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I should be streaming again. Probably going to keep working on the trenches because I want to finish that as soon as I possibly can. Right, I feel I want to put this pipe in this box. We're going to do that. I just feel like doing that. JPA, what's going on? Welcome back, fam. How are we gonna do this guy? Oh, maybe we could have it linking like that. Would that be dope? Let's try it out. Let's try it out. Let's try it out a little bit. I gotta stand up for this. Damn. Does whiz mean wizard or Swiss cheese? It could be whatever you want, bro. I like both. I like being a wizard and I like Swiss cheese. So, be whatever your heart desires, my friend. 
we doing here? What are we doing here? All right, I'll just save that piece. I don't, know, I don't know what that pipe did. It might look but ugly, but it's all right. We're going to go with it. Don't worry. Man, my camera is heating up. Uh, let's see. I'd rather use eBay right now. Yeah, okay. It's whatever you're comfortable with, man. Make sure you make fun of me. I asked her, dude. I literally said that. And she said, I don't understand what you're saying. Brignito, yay, I'll be there from the start, dude. Uh, for now, I have a test to study for. All right, good luck on your test, man. See you guys tomorrow. I mean, I did some two years ago. Oh, okay. But, like, even the quality of my videos when I first started, I feel like that's the same with everyone, too. Like, whenever you first start, your quality's not going to be as good. But it's fine. Everyone starts at some point. All right, let's see what we got here. Save those pieces. Got some more here, damn. Let's, I don't know, I'm just gonna put that there for now, because I feel lazy. Oh, we can put some crates here, actually. It's a good idea. Did you just finish your crate mock today? All right, dude. Link me it, let's see it. What would the ultimate $1,000 UCS set? Wow, bigger than the Falcon? Um, I'd probably want, I don't know, what do I want? I want a Star Destroyer, or a Supremacy. $1,000 Supremacy, that's like really awesome. I'd be very down for that. I ordered first order snow speeder, snow, ugh, snow speeder set for ten dollars, and it was compromised. What? You just got you get you just gotta be careful. You gotta read the description of what you're buying. It's the only thing I can tell you. All right, really quickly, guys. I just want to just kind of recap both for me and for you what we did today. Uh, so pretty much we finished tiling the street, the uh trenches and then we re rearrange some of the shelving um to the side where they're going to be facing which is this way uh add some details add some crates add some pipes and i think it looks pretty cool you guys are going to see a, a bigger version of this probably on saturday's stream oh uh, let's see do you classify yourself as a nerd oh yeah 100 percent. lcw i can read your mind <laughs> electric lego gotta go all right i'll see you man thanks for stopping by $1,000 UCS panel, full interior Death Star. Okay. My bricks I just subscribed yesterday. I love how your mock looks. And do you have any ideas for a new mock? Because I'm trying to find a new one to build. Um, it's, it's, it's whatever you want, man. You can build anything you want. It's like, I mean, if you were to ask me, my two favorite Star Wars scenes right now are Scarif and Crate. So, but you could also build Coruscant. You can build Canto Bite. You can build uh, Kashyyyk again. I don't know. It's whatever you want. Top three mocks for me. And I will tell. <laughs> Alright. Uh, I think about wrapping it up here. But the thing that's like making it not look like we're making a lot of progress is I need more support bricks. And unfortunately, I don't have them with me. Um, I still have to buy them. So that kind of sucks. That's kind of impeding our, our progress. But hopefully by next week, I'm going to buy an another XL creative box and be able to do that. Um, like I said before... Give you guys an idea this crashed ski speeder is going to be going behind the trench right here just in case you were wondering as soon as i say that the panel falls off amy cutler what's up thanks for stopping by but i'm afraid you might be a little too late I'm probably gonna close out the stream soon i think you're starting building endor that'd be cool you should build endor and you should build base it off of the uh, battlefront 2 game that'd be pretty cool uh oh ski speeder's falling apart fam I gotta fix that Uh -oh. Falling apart, boys. Can I get a shout out for subscribing to you? I don't give shout outs unless it's like a giveaway winner. But I do appreciate you subbing to me, man. Actually, would you guys want to see another, uh, another, uh, mock contest? It's been a while since I did that. Hannah Murray, you should do a Normandy Beach mock. That's always been in the back of my mind, brother. But this is kind of a Star Wars channel, so... Depends. Depends on how much money I have after this mock to build another one. So anyways, guys, this is going to be going here somewhere. I'm probably going to, like, cut half of it, so... Maybe this half right here... Oh, camera. This half right here is going to be completely gone, and then this other half is going to be, like, sticking up, like, diagonal. I don't know if that, I don't know if that kind of makes sense, but that's going to take a while for me to actually do that. Uh, what time is it? My time is 8.45. By the way, quick question from 
Rebel Bricks, uh, how do you put music and like the subscribe button on live stream? Uh, I use a program called OBS. Um, yeah, there's a lot of easy tutorials you can get. It's a free program to stream with, and it's really easy to use. Hmm. So I think that's kind of it. I'm just going to clean up the rest of this stuff here, and then I'm probably going to head out. Like I said before, guys, tomorrow, uh, probably about 3.30 p.m., what are we streaming? How long have we been streaming? Let me check. I think it's been almost two hours, right? Uh, hour and a half. Yeah. Plus, my camera gets really hot, and I'm afraid it's just going to start melting or something, so. It's all right, though. Uh, where do you live? Yeah, I live in the States. I live in Jersey. So, yeah, I think it's looking pretty good. Give you guys a little bit of a last look here. Kind of try and get close without showing my face. This is what the mock looks like right now. Just some small details right now. The main trench, though, looks really good. Like, insanely good. So, like, this is... I'm still obviously going to work on this a little more. But it's going to be cool. So, and this is the uh, underground trench right here with all the rocks and the formations and everything like that. So, it's pretty cool. Face reveal on five subs. All right, if I get five subs in the next three seconds, I'll do it. Five subs in the next 30 seconds, I'll do it. I'll do a live stream face reveal. I have, my, I have my live sub counter out right now. Starting now. If I get five subs. <laughs> I'm totally kidding. If that happened, though, I would do it for you guys. Uh, should I make another Endor mock from BF3? Why not? That sounds awesome. Oh, BF2? Yeah. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, guys, any, any recommendations while we're still here? I think it looks decent. Not gonna lie. I mean, this has been a little bit of a hard... Pro pro ugh, process for me building this but I think it's coming together well for, for me only building mocks for not even a year I think I got some pretty decent details and they're not going to lie um, but like I said before you guys are going to get a really good overhead view of the entire mock on this uh, this Saturday's stream so that's going to be coming there uh, I think that's kind of all we got for today guys any last questions I'll, I'll chill out for like a minute or two if you guys got any questions or anything you want to say in general just sh Shoot it my way in the in the uh, chat. I'll answer for a little bit before we get out. I'll fix my camera a little bit. There we go. Uh, let's see. Looks great. Thank you, Rylo Bricks. I would say a little more grills. Okay. Yeah. I'll probably start. I'll probably take out a lot of the tiles around this area and put some grills in there because that. Yeah, I agree with that. A huge base, a little forest. Yeah, that'd be cool. I'm so sad I only got to see the last five minutes. Hey, don't worry. Tomorrow, 3.30 p.m. Eastern time. We'll be live again. Probably about two hours stream again. Oh, yeah. I saw that Ace Gamers. Don't worry. I need subs, but I have no storage, so I can't upload. Uh, you could... You could um, get a... What is it called? Just ex external hard drive. Would you ever grow larger than my fan base? Dude, what fan base, bro? You haven't even posted in like a month, bro. No, just kidding, guys. If you like cars and if you like really cool pictures of cars, my buddy Ryan Murray, he actually has an official account, like totally legit. He's got like 20,000 followers. He takes super cool pictures. It's called Blacklist Culture on Instagram. If you guys want to go check that out, that'd be really cool. He'd definitely appreciate that. His It's really grown a lot. He has a really cool uh, library of pictures, so definitely go check that out. How did you get 1400 in less than a year? I keep asking myself that question every day when I wake up. Because all these YouTubers I know, they all get 1,000 subscribers in like two years. But yet, I'm out here getting 1400 So I really i am blown away by this, guys. I do want to thank every, each and every single one of you for watching the streams, watching the videos, liking, subscribing, everything like that. You guys have really made this experience really fun for me. So I do want to thank all of you for that. But like, like it's crazy. Like I'm pretty sure we're almost about to hit 1500 now that I'm thinking about it. Yeah, we're at 1493 right now. So like that's that's incredible. The fact that I'm halfway into a thousand is ridiculous, but um Amy Cutler, I was talking about there's external hard drives you can buy. Um that's like a USB so you can hook it up to something, you can transfer data onto the hard drive, and then you can clear up space for that and stuff like that. So you could you should definitely look into that. Will there be any details on top of the plates near the trench? Yeah, there's going to be these these snot techniques 
are gonna be laying throughout the entire mock so it's gonna add some like curvature to it so don't worry about like not that don't worry about that but in terms of like the surface i plan on having some like blown up chunks a uh, down ski speeder like i said before anything like that can you watch my lego animation series sure man link it like i said before just link it man. i'll use my phone oh okay then i really don't have a solution for you <laughs> You could get a camera if you have some money. $200 can buy you a pretty decent camera. If you wanted to. But. I guess you could just start clearing up some storage in your phone. But that's probably hard. So. I want to build a new mock. But I need a good idea that hasn't really been done much. Vardos. From Battlefront 2. I've not seen a Vardos mock before. And I came, very, I came this close to building a Vardos mock. So. Do you have any advice for those who are building crate or scarif? Um, three things before you build a mock. I'm gonna say this every single time. Um, like number one, choose a thing you want to make. Choose a scene, choose a size, everything like that. Two, budget yourself. Don't go crazy spending money. And three, once you have those two ideas, choose a specific aspect of the mock you're making and scale it off of that. That's probably the easiest thing. Um, I will say that Lego is expensive, so. You definitely got to account for a lot of money like that. Who are the top five commenters on this live stream? Oh, I don't know. There's been a lot of people on this live stream. You're doing Vardos right now? Awesome, Amy. I'd love to see that. Vardos is one of the things that's kind of undone. I see Boba Fett Bricks typing a lot. What's the other faces? I, I've seen a lot. Ace Gamer Studios. Let's see. Let's see. I'm scrolling up in the chat right now. Who we got? LCW. He's been here for pretty much the entire stream, I think. Uh, who else? Who else? Who else? Who else? I'm just looking at the stream right now. Wait, a few people for it too, so. I'm so confused. Love your channel. Thanks, Pro Studs. All right, guys. Any last second questions? Any last comments? Um, I'm going to say this for the last time. Uh, two things. Number one, tomorrow live stream, 3.30 p.m. Eastern time. And number two, I know a lot of you have been asking about um, becoming a moderator. And the thing I have to say to that is I'm going to be waiting probably another another week so I can start getting to know some people in the streams, some people who are here all the time. I'm probably going to have about five or six moderators. I already have two, although one of them popped in today, although I know he uh, he lives like it's late. And then um, the other one, I don't know where he was. So probably gonna have to rethink my mods, but I'm going to be thinking about that. Don't worry um, throughout the next couple of live streams. So like I said before, the best way for you guys to become a mod is just to be in the chat. Don't spam. Don't say stupid stuff, you know. Keep it PG. We're all cheered. Have fun. Have a good time. Yo, journalists can't wait to see the stream tomorrow. All right, cool, man. I'll see you there. Why are you using a bunch of David's designs? Super Tyler Films. Wow. That question came up a little abruptly. Can't seem happy about the question, but um, if you want me to explain it. So pretty much, um, I'm really confused by the question because you can, if you can clarify, I would love to answer your question because I get that comment all the time. I'm, I'm not copying David, but if you want to type specifically what I am copying, I'd love to further uh, kind of go into that. I live in Oregon, pretty sure that's Coast Range. Uh, hopefully, I don't know. What the, whatever, it's eight. It's almost nine o'clock here, so whatever time that is. Are you going to do Twitch? I am live on Twitch right now, actually. Like me more than Solidbricks. That's kind of crazy. Solidbricks is my inspiration. Like the salt in the wall. Okay, so first of all, I, I'm, I'm glad he brought this up. And I would I would have liked for you to probably put it in a little bit of a nicer way. But basically, the wall, guys. The reason why I'm using David's technique for the wall is because it's affordable. That's the only reason. And I'm not an experienced builder. I've only been building for about a little under a year. And I'm, I'm able to build the entire wall for like $150. So... That's kind of what I have to say about that. I'm making it a different color and everything. I, I know that people are immediately going to think I'm copying him, but it's it, it gets annoying too at a certain point, but I respect your opinion, of course. But that's what I have to say about that. And in terms of the snot technique, it's the best technique to do for a crate. Um, I, I thought about doing Rich Boy J with the old tiles, but the reason why I'm using a snot technique is because it adds depth to the trenches. That's the main reason. And obviously, I tried doing a little bit of a different design and stuff, but I know I still get comments like this, but it's just the best way, you know? And it's not like, I, and I, I'm not sh throwing shade at David, and I know that he would agree me with everything that I'm about to say, but this is a design. It's not like he copyrighted it, you know what I'm saying? It's not like he copyrighted the wall, um, and I know for a fact that he'd be urging people to do his design, 
and he, he would feel really honored about that and that's that's my intent of what i'm doing right now um with the wall again it's affordable it's easier for me i'm not an experienced builder like he is so whatever he's doing it's it's probably a good idea plus i think rich boy jay is doing the, the same wall design and it's the snot technique oh, excuse me the snot technique is the best it, it adds depth to the trenches so instead of making it five high it makes it look six high you know what i'm saying so i hate when people say that i'm copying him that really gets on my nerves i did address that in last week's update but you know and listen, you can have your opinion, and I'll still respect it, and I'll, I won't, like, be mean or anything towards you. I just wish that people would just kind of say it a little bit differently. Just kind of think about what you say. But I'm, I'm happy you brought that up, because I'm able to clear that up. So. I don't get why people don't get that these techniques were meant to be. Yeah, that's exactly the point, you know? Um, techniques are universal. And, and David wasn't the first one to use snot on crate, you know? And he knows that he's accepted and everything like that, but it's all right. I'm using the techniques that best suit what I want to do for the mock. You know what I'm saying? Whatever I want to envision for what I'm building, and I think this is this is the best way for me to build it. That's what I'm gonna uh, gonna do. So I really don't like when people call me copycat, but I mean I could see it. But people who do say that they should they should really look, really look at Lego. And on that rant note, I think we're about to end it, guys. I do want to thank you all for tuning in for today's live stream. Just again, really quickly, tomorrow, 3.30 p.m., we're going to be live streaming again. And, uh, yeah, I had an awesome blast, guys. As usual, I always have a great time streaming with you guys, getting to know the community and everything like that. So I do want to thank you all for tuning in. We're going to be back live tomorrow with along with uh, – oh, there's no upload tomorrow, actually, just the live stream. But we'll see you. And, uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all, all later. And, uh, yeah, peace out, boys.